Welcome to this session 8 of file handling in PHP on FileNet.com. <coughs> file handling is an important part of any application, be it web or any other application. PHP has its own set of functions that can be used for file handling and processing. You must be very careful when you perform operations on the files and these can cause issues to server by editing a wrong file, filling in the disk space with the garbage data, etc. File handling functions Read file Read file function reads the content of the file and writes it to the output buffer. fopen It takes two arguments, first a file path and then a string mode. As the name suggests, it opens the stream to the file and returns a handle to that stream object. The second parameter, mode, can be specified by a string r for read only and rw for read and write. f3, file handle number of bytes. This function is used to read from the file. It takes two parameters, a file handle created from fopen and the number of bytes to be read from the file. fclose file handle. This function is used to close the stream to the file. It takes a parameter which is the file handle created by from fopen function. File size, file path. This function retains the number of bytes in the file, it takes a single parameter, file path, as a string. Examples for file operations. Now the my file is equal to fopen users.txt double quotes r or die unable to open the file. Echo fread dollar my file file size users.txt fclose dollar my file PHP has lots of other file functions that you can find on httpphp.net <coughs> file handling functions fopen when used with w as a mode would try to create a file if not already exists in the file system note to do all these of file operations, the files or directories may have proper permissions given. F write file handle content. The function is used to write to a file. It takes two parameters, a file handle created with f1 function and a string that is to be written on the file. Here is an example of file writing. Please note that with W mode, if you open a file again, it would override the code or the content. File uploads. You can upload the files to the server using PHP code and HTML forms. To do so, you need to make sure that file underscore uploads directory is on in the php.ini file on server. You would also need to set the limit for the maximum size of the file that can be uploaded using php.ini as per your requirement. Here is an example of an HTML form for file upload. You can see that we have specified an input type that is of file with a variable name file name and id file name. You have to note that you have to set the ENC type param of the form to multipart form data to upload a file to the server. PHP code to upload the file. 
In this code, you can see on the first line we specify the target directory where we want to upload the file. The target file or the file name or file path where we want to upload the uh, where we want to save the file. Now the most important thing to note here is move uploaded file. This is the function that is basically used to move the uploaded file from the temporary location to the actual location specified on the target underscore file name on the earlier code. Note to save the file on the server, we use move underscore upload underscore file function which takes two parameters, the reference to the temporary file and the part to which the file needs to be saved. Thank you for joining us. We'll be continuing with our next tutorial soon.